G'day YouTubers, it's another round of my AFL Team Coach video. Um, before I start, I'd like to acknowledge two brothers from TJ Cards who asked me to create a video, so um, create some more videos, hopefully that in they enjoy this plus other people. So yeah, let's get started. Before I start, it will be appreciated if you can subscribe to my channel. Please help me get to 1,000 subscribers. Let's start for round six, AFL Team Coach. All right, who's gonna win for this week or who will I select? Round one, St. Kill against the Western Bulldogs. The Saints cop an injury to King, so he's out with a knee injury. And the Saints lost to the Giants by a point. And the Bulldogs were disappointing against Essen on Friday night last week. They lost, what, 40 odd points? I'll take it again. They lost by 29 points to Essen then. Uh, it was going to be an interesting game to see who will win. So I'll tip St. Kilda. You just don't know if we're Ross signing coach. He's a good coach and his team's always competitive. So I'll tip the Saints. The Crows against Essen, that's an interesting game. If the Crows put that same performance against Cowan last week, with that quick attacking ball movement, they have a chance to win. The Bombs did very well against the Bulldogs. Um, because the game is in Adelaide, and the Crows haven't won any games at Adelaide this year, I'm going to pick the home side and select the Crows. The next game is between Conwood and the Power. That's an interesting game. Conwood had to buy last week. And Paul kicked the last two goals to beat what, to beat Fremantle by four points. So because it's at home at the MCG, I'm going to tip the Magpies to win. The next game is between Cowden and Giants. Both teams suffering injuries. Cowden losing Sarah, Saad and McGovern to injuries. And the Giants losing their Ruckman, Briggs. Also, um, Kitniglio got injured. And um, Taylor out concussion so it would be interesting what the fans of the Giants have to stop the Twin Tower in McKay and Kerno so for this even though the Giants are undefeated and Cowan lost the first game last week I'm going to tip the home side Cowden to win this is an interesting game Brisbane Lions and Geelong at the Gabba the Lions won against Melbourne on a Friday night they beat the Demons by 22 points and Geelong what can I say? Smash North Melbourne by 70 odd points at Canadian Park. This game is at the Gabba, so even though Geelong's undefeated in five wins and no losses, and Brisbane has lost three games and two wins, I'll stick the home team because it's at the Gabba. Um, Brisbane's lost two games at home, and I'm expecting them not to lose their first try at home, so I'll stick the Lions. The next game is between West Coast and Fremantle, the next instalment of the Western Derby. West Coast won their first game last week, they beat Richmond by 39 points, and the Dockers narrowly lost to the Power. Um, two points I believe it was, against poor Adelaide Oval. So you think the Dockers will be favourites, so I'm going to stick Fremantle for this game. So tip the Dockers to win this game. The next game is between the Swans and the Gold Coast Suns. Sydney had to buy last week. Gold Coast beat Hawthorne by 59 points. So that was in Gold Coast. But because this is played at SEG, and Gold Coast do have a good record at Sydney. They've won a few games over the journey against Sydney at SEG. But I can't tip against Sydney. They're class outfit. So I expect the Suns to beat the Gold Coast Suns. And the last game of the week. This could potentially be the game of the round. North Melbourne versus Hawks. So both teams are, haven't won a game yet. So um, one team will get off the bottom of the ladder and one will stay defeated. Or I should say, will, will stay... Um, will, yeah, the king. So based on this, I'm going to tip. It's a hard one. So both teams are struggling. North Melbourne got a lot of young players. Hawthorne. They can play well and they can play bad, so 
they're pretty inconsistent. So for this one, how can the Hawks have a chance? So yeah, I'm going to tip the Hawks. So that's my week for this week. Next, save. Right. Let's go into the main items that we need to look at for this room. Star power. So I choose one of within the five items of your mighty mid football, defensive dynamo, next generation and a trailblazer. I've got to bear in mind that um, we have a buy. There's two teams of buy, so Melbourne and Richmond are not playing this week, so I have to exclude myself from picking Demons and the Tigers players. Okay, let's look at this list from the mighty. Dunkley did pretty well. 123 points last round. Sam Walsh in his first game back. As I said last week in my show, I wasn't sure if... Sam Walsh was going to play against Crow's Law, but he did and first game back, 145 points. I reckon he had about 35 possessions against the Crows. That's right, Conlon had to buy, so zero to decals. Um, let's just have a look. Addison, that's pretty good. Now it's against Hawthorne, but Gold Coast have got um, Sydney this week, so can he have the same input or output? She's got potential to achieve that same milestone. Playing against Hawthorne, so two teams that are in the bottom four. So if she's can average a lot of positions against all clubs, including top sides, there's um, no reason why he can't do the same against a fellow bottom four club in Hawthorne. Interesting. So I'm going to pick Harry G's. Harry Sheasel. So yeah, last round he had 38 disposals, and his average is 34. Um, he scored 139 fantasy points. His average is 129, so even if you get 129, you still take it. So let's snooze Harry. Midfield ball. Um, yes, Conrad had buy last week. Merritt, 104, Sarong, 92. Guthrie's still injured. Raul had 99. David Shinyaki. Butters. Chalor. 102. Um, Brisbane's got Geelong. So can Neil repeat? Or can Neil score more than 83 points? Cripps. They've got... What's that team? The Giants. And Gi the Giants have some injuries in the midfield. Yes, I'm good. That's right, they're playing the Crows on the Friday night. Chance that he'll get a lot of possessions. Sarong against West Coast in the Derby. Potential for a lot of possessions. North Pole in the other plane. Hawthorne. Definitely chance a lot of possessions for Davies. Uniaki. Port Scott calling with that MCG. And the Dogies, who are they playing against? They are playing against that team. St. Kilda on a Thursday night. There is potential for him to get a lot of possessions. I would choose him so wrong in the Western Derby. Yep. So his average is 116. So it was below average last week with 92, but. He was playing against a good team in Port Adelaide. Um, he had 29 possessions. His average is 33. So I'm, except, I'm expecting him to score more than 90 points. So let's choose the wrong. Next one. So the defensive dynamo. Sard's injured. Moore didn't play last week. Redman, Young, with Phil. He did all right. Yeah, Day's injured. Bailey Scott. Hmm, nice score. Blakey will be back this week.
just looking. That's right. Milora is out with an ACL knee injury. Essel against Crow is interesting. Hayden Young. I like that. Whitfield. Can't remember if he's injured or not. I know they had a fair amount of injuries to Giants. So I'll take less bursts. I don't know much about Bailey Scott. Let's see his stats. Okay, he was above average, so last week had 27 disposals. Normally he averages 22. Um, yeah, he scored 115, so that's his highest. He scored for the season based on his average of 86. Let's see what Hayden Young had did. Okay, his average disposal is 26, and he just beat that by 127. This fantasy points, average is 102. So, based on that, I will accept that 102 points. So, let's pick Hayden Young for this one. Okay, for the next generation, we'll choose, who can we choose? Michelle only got 67, and he kicked a couple goals, so um, can he repeat that? Look at that. He averages in the 60s, and disposal, that's his average of 15, so in theory, you don't expect him to score more than 70 points, based on his average. Rainer beat his average, normally he averages 75, and his family's C points was 99. I don't know. Majority of these players aren't high. Eh. Gimby, 57. Hugo Hagel, 76. Owen, 79. That's what McDonald had to buy. Bolter's injured. Owen France is interesting. 76. Hesh Humphreys, Luke Jackson, Nick Martin. No one is prolific. And he had, what, 25 disposals last week. So, fancy point, he scored 85. His average is 100. We'll give him one more week. We'll pick Nick Martin for this game against the Crows. Trailblazer. Taylor Walker, 100 points. I believe he kicked Four goals. So that's, that's big output. Oh, there you go. Yep, four goals. Um, lot, 14 disposals. 100 fantasy points, but his average is normally 75. So we won't pick him, or I'll see there's any others. Zorko is a good chance because he plays half back, so he does get a lot of possessions. And disposal last week was 29, his average is 27. Fantasy points, last week was 117. His usual average is 107, so we're expecting 100 plus for Zorgos. So that's one player I will consider to see what else is out there. Pearl, Fire, Cameron. But then again, yeah, he kicked six goals against North Melms, so it was a lopsided game where Geelong beat North by 70 plus, I think it was. So Geelong's God, who have they got? Just into the fixture. They've got the Lions at the Gabba, so I shouldn't assume, but I'm not expecting him to kick six goals against the Lions for this upcoming game. So we'll just park the bus there for now. Homie Green, 93, he scored last round. That's kicking two goals, 16 disposals, and his average for fancy points is 85, so he's just above his average. So he's about 85 90 range. What else? Dog oh, Max. Um, do you, that's right. Melbourne's got the buy, so I'm not gonna consider Melbourne or Richmond players for this round, given that they have the buy. Wines. Bob average 26 disposals, 106 fancy points. His average is 89. Who else is out there? I think Crouch is injured for the Saints. And Parker's injured as well. Libba. Did he, um, fainted in the last quarter? I think he's not going to play this week. He might be ruled out. Low 100s for Zorko. That's right. Next to your pick, Maxi. 
So we'll pick Zorko. Okay. There are more players for this week. So that's the silver. Cool. What's ultra? So just give them that silver. That's all locked in, save. Excellent. Let's do the same process for the ultra. So based on your mighty midfield ball, defensive dynamo, next gen and trailblazer. Okay. So the mighty. I might just duplicate what I just did previously and pick the sheasel. Mmm. I need some cheesels. So based on those silver, I'll choose Sheasel again. Mid football. What's it say? Choose a maximum of three team star powers, players for double fantasy points each round. You must save your weekly selection to enter the star power comp each round. Okay. Anyways, move for the ball, let's choose. LDU, 104, Trelaw. The goalie will be back this way, and Chad Warner. What is the goalie's average? Oh, 76. Chad Warner, 103. I'm tempted for Trelaw. The Bulldogs get the things. 104, okay, his average is pretty similar to Chad Warner. Um, yep, let's pick Adam Trelaw. Okay, let's try the defensive dynamo. Who have we got? I'm not familiar with Bailey Scott, apart from being drafted under Farn Sunrule for the Kangas. Dan Houston, a league kicker he is, but for our comp, we're just really interested in possessions. Okay, his damage is 87 last week, there's a Bob average of 109, 27 disposals. Be interesting how the power goes against Conwood at the MCG on Saturday. Young, Redmond, Rioli, Richmond has a bar and May will have the bar. The rest are pretty low ball getters or scorers. Hmm. Young's average is 102. Yeah, Scott is 86, the average, Houston 87. Redmond 81, so let's try Hayden Young, whose average is 102, and he scored that last week. Let's try this. Hayden Young. Next generation. Aish Martin Horn Francis. They're the ones I'd consider. Last time I chose Martin. Let's try something different. Let's see what Aish. Oh, his season, season average is 63, so he was above average. Und Francis, season average 91. Martin 188, average. Okay, had the last round was a bit low. 85. Let's try Nick Martin again. And a trailblazer. Oh, that's right. Maxi's got the buy. Last time I chose Zorko. Cameron kicks sixth. I'm assuming he won't do that. This do that against Prisman at the Gabba. Just looking. Um, one's what average is 89, yeah. So for this sake, we'll try Zorko again. Let's do that. Is that card? Alright, so it's four more five. As I selected this Ultra Star Power, I've selected Sheasel for the Mighty. Trelaw for midfield ball. Hayden Young for defensive dynamo. Western Derby against West Coast, so good chance that he gets lots of possessions. Nick Martin for the next generation. The Bombers are playing the Crows on the Friday night. Crouch is suspended for the Crows. So there's a chance that Martin will get plenty of possession. And Zorko to play against Geelong. Averages in the 100, so I'll take that if he scores 100 again. Excellent. So what's my ladder? Morale 5 ranking. 428. Not sure what's... 
So last round scored 428. But overall, don't even worry about title. I tried this last week, so I'm not sure why I've got no um, score. So I'm unranked for last round. My fantasy point is 428. My season, I'm unranked. Fantasy point, I'm unranked for the Ultra Star Power. So that's a shame. So that was silver. Let's just come back. So the first one was, was Ultra, but in the silver one, I'm also unranked. So scored 554 points. And my season is 0.0, .0 nothing. So I'm not sure what happened to me. Anyways, that's my selection for the week. We'll see how I go. And thanks for watching this show. And shout out to the um, two brothers at TJ Cards for encouraging me to make this video. And good luck to everyone and good luck to them. And we'll meet again and chat next week. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Enjoy. That's the end. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and comment on my channel. Every subscriber will be appreciated.